there is a giant pile of clothes <laughs> right in front of me. And I'm just thinking about how I have to go through every single one of them right now. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a ginormous try on thrift haul. I have been thrifting way too often, way too much, uh, considering that I have no money. <laughs> I can't even lie and say that it's a collective haul because pretty much all of the stuff that I'm about to show you, I bought within the last week. So I have a lot of things to show you today, so I think I'm just gonna go right into it. All of these things are from either Value Village or Goodwill. A lot of them are also gonna be on my Depop, so if you guys are interested in anything that I'm showing you, chances are it's gonna be up on my Depop, so you should definitely go follow that if you're interested. So I'm gonna try and go in and order and maybe it'll be a little bit more organized. I'm gonna go do accessories first. This first one is this D-ring little canvas belt and it has these stripes with these super 80s color combination. You have this like super 80s electric purple, sky blue, white, black, neon green, and a little bit more of like a, a forest-ish forest to screen. The color combination is just so retro and cute and I really love it. This next one is this faux leather white grommet belt. It's really cute. The hardware is silver. The only problem with this is that it's so thick that it doesn't fit most um, belt loops on pants, but I have managed to squeeze it in. These next belts are pastel canvas seat belt buckly kind of belts. I'm keeping this one for myself and then I'm selling the other one so that we can be twinsies, but they just had two of them and I was like, ooh, yes. Yeah, it has blush, lavender, cute pastel yellow and pastel blue, and it has silver hardware. Oh, it's so good, I love it. Next, I'm gonna do pants and jeans. Let's go. So first of all, I have these mom jeans. These ones are St. John's Bay. These ones are size five, but the waist I find might run a little small. I would say this is a 28 inch waist. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them just because I literally have so many mom jeans and I have um, ones that fit me a little bit better, but they're super cute and they're just like a classic jean and they're mom jeans and they look really cute cuffed. These next pants are so, so cute and I really, really wish that they fit me, but they don't. These are authentic Lee brown corduroy high-waisted pants. They're tagged a size four petite. They fit, but they're like, hmm, they're a little bit too short that I can't really pull them off as capris. You know that? You know that feeling? Yeah, but they're so good and I know somebody's gonna love these. Definitely check these out on Depop if you're interested. These next pants are a pair of, they're kind of like faded out black kind of gray mom jeans. They're really cute. They're by Liz Claiborne. I'm not terribly familiar with the brand, but I've seen it in thrift stores a lot. This one's tagged an eight regular. And again, the waist runs quite a bit small. They're super high waisted. The butt is great, great. These next jeans are again, our mom jeans. These ones are from Topshop. They're like the girlfriend fit jeans. To find Topshop in a thrift store, awesome, great, because they're really expensive. Cute, they button all the way up like this. They look great on me, so <laughs> I might keep these, but again, I have so many pairs of mom jeans, so you never know. <laughs> these next two trousers are amazing. These ones are Ralph Lauren trousers. They fit me, but they're like just tight enough that when you bend over, like your tummy roll just like rolls on over and it's like slightly more difficult than average to touch your toes, you know what I mean? It's like slightly too tight that everywhere you go, your butt is like on display and slightly too tight that there's like just a subtle hint of camel toe. I don't care, I wanna keep them because they're so cute. They're <laughs> green and they have this very micro houndstooth design with olive green, forest green, and a super dark, that's either a burgundy or a brown. 
but they are so good. They so remind me of Unif and this next pair too. And they look so good with platform boots. It just looks so like internet girl. They are so cute. I don't know if I can like not have them. <laughs> All right, and this is the last pair of pants that I have for this haul. They're black, white, which is kind of just looks gray, but they're gray and pink. They remind me so much of Clueless and again, Unif. Super cute. They're kind of a straight cut, but they flare a little bit out on the legs. And again, with platform boots. Oh my gosh, like super Unif vibes. Super cute. Now, these ones don't fit me, so I'm gonna be selling these on my Depop. All right, next I'm gonna go into shoes. Oh my goodness, so I found some tins. <laughs> wow, at the thrift store, wow. These go for like 150 bucks, and these are like brand new. Like this person just tried them on and was like, oh, doesn't fit, donated them. What? Like they weren't terribly cheap, but I was like, let's just grab them. Let's just grab them. So I did. These are a size 12 men's, I believe. And I also heard that they kind of run a little bit big. So if you're a size 12 in men's and you want these, I'm gonna be selling these on my Depop and I might also put them on eBay. Check out the links below and you can get them for a lot cheaper than $150. This next pair of shoes, I wish that they fit me. They are these amazing, platform Mary Jane booties and they still have the stickers on them on the bottom barely worn it looks like literally they might have worn them once they are incredible they're in amazing condition they are so good they remind me of shoes that you see on Unif like these are Unif shoes for heck it not the Unif price of like a, a hundred or more Oh my goodness, and they lace up, and they're so good. These are a size eight. I'm a size seven, and I was wearing them, and I was like, what if I just wear them with fuzzy socks? But then you can like see the fuzzy socks outside of the shoes. I was like, how do I make these work? But they're a whole size too big for me. So I think I'm just gonna be selling them on Depop. But it was fun modeling them <laughs> while it lasted. So that same trip, I saw these amazing, amazing Nikes. These are Nikes Dunk Low rainbow shoes. These are so good. These ones are a size US 7 youth and that's about like an eight, eight and a half in women's. So again, these are too big for me. Oh my goodness, like rainbow shoes. These remind me of like Color Club. If you don't follow Color Club, you need to. She's amazing. Um, I feel like she would love these. <laughs> if she's a size eight or eight and a half, someone at her. Oh my goodness, these are so good. So these are gonna be on my Depop as well. These next shoes are super cute. I saw these and I was like, oh, those look like super cute, like hipster grandpa loafers. I love them, I want them, they're in my size. They are actually golf shoes. These literally go for $150. So like, <laughs> I might DIY them and take off these gray spokes, um, but that's all I can really do. If I decide not to DIY them, I'll probably sell them and you can use them as golf shoes. You can DIY them like I was just saying and take them off, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're a women's size seven. They also come with these <laughs> little golf flaps that you have like the laces around and then they look like that. Um, personally, I just like how the laces look. So um, they're not on there right now. Keep an eye out on my Depop if I decide to sell them. I'm gonna save the biggest section for last. So <laughs> I'm gonna go on to dresses. It's an extra small and I usually wear a small and it fit fine. It has these puff sleeves and it's brown and gold sparkles. I have worn it once and I don't know if I'm gonna wear it again simply because this is something that personally I would only wear um, like to events and I guess I've kind of already worn it to an event so. If somebody wants this, then check out my Depop. It's super cute and especially like off the shoulder. Ugh, so good. We were actually gonna go to the club later that night and I just like, literally I had a Christmas sweater on. I had an ugly Christmas sweater and I was like, okay, I'm not going to the club in a Christmas sweater. Like it says something, but I don't know if it says what I want it to say. So, so we went thrifting and I found this and it is so good. It is a black velvet bodycon dress. It has these mesh sleeves. It's so gorgeous. So cute, I love it. 
Now we're gonna go on to outerwear. I just have a one piece of outerwear that I thrifted. This is a super cute jean jacket, but it's not like your typical jean jacket. It's like those zip up ones. So 80s, oh my goodness, I love it. And it's a size medium. It's got like this little collar and it has these buttons, it has these pockets, and yeah, it has like this gold zipper that goes all the way up. I found one later that is kind of like this. I'm gonna keep the other one and I'm gonna sell this one. Now we're gonna go on the largest section of my haul and that's the sweater section. So first of all, I have this top. It's a super cute turtleneck top with green dark green, navy blue, and purple and cream stripes everywhere. And I just love the color combination. And it's really comfy and it's really cute. I love me some horizontal stripes. Honey, <laughs> you are going to see a lot of horizontal stripes. This sweater is so good. It's so cute and super, super soft. This one is by Alfred Dunner and this one's a petite medium. It's like a wide mock neck and it has, actually it has shoulder pads. If you don't like the shoulder pads though, you can easily cut them out. They're like just barely on there with a couple of stitches. And it's like this awesome like towel knit texture. It's cream, it has turquoise, it has purple, it has gray. And it's actually kind of cropped. It's a little bit big on me. So I think I'm gonna sell this one on my Depop. So I love I love rainbow and I love sweaters. Put those two together and you kind of like have heaven. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. This is a gorgeous rainbow sweater. And it's not like your typical rainbow sweater because these are all like kind of muted colors. Green, magenta, gray, blue, pinks. Oh my goodness. And this one's a size large. It's super cute. Like even like with the oversized look, it'd be really, really cute and like tuck it in. I'm going to sell this one on my Depop. If you wants to check that out. I can't even like tell you how excited I am when I saw this. When I picked this up, one of the workers, she's like, oh, you're getting that, no fair. Heck yes I am. Look at this gorgeous rainbow pastel sweater that I happened upon. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of the Unif pastel sweater. It is so good and it's so kitschy. I am going to sell it. This one says it's a size large. It's more of a size small. I would say small small, maybe medium. Perfect, love it, gorgeous, kitschy. This next sweater is also super, super cute. This one's an Eddie Bauer size medium. It has this gorgeous like sky blue and it is a turtleneck. It has these cream and gray horizontal stripes going right through it, which is so cute and trendy right now. Very 80s and then the bottom half is a navy blue and I think I'm gonna sell it. This next one is so amazing. So this one, Says it's by a brand called Trend Basics, and this one's a size large. This is a super, super cute navy blue and mustard yellow sweater. It gathers at the sleeves, which I really like, and I wear this as a dress, and it's so cute. Now this one is also another oversized knit. This one is by Gap, and it's a size extra large, and it is this sunshine yellow turtleneck sweater. And again, it being extra large makes it a dress on me, and it's really, really cute. It is so, so adorable, and I love it and I'm probably gonna keep this one. I just dropped it. This one is by the brand Monarch Knits. Never heard of them, but look how great the color is. This one is just like a crew neck. It's like a very good sweatery material. You know what I mean? That like electric 80s purple. It is amazing. And then it kind of like gathers at the waist and then again at the sleeves. Really cute, really flattering on. I love it, I'm excited. I'm probably gonna keep this, sorry. <laughs> follow my Depop because eventually if I have too many clothes again, I'm gonna have to get rid of more. So if you're like in love with that, wait a year or two, I'll probably have it up there. <laughs> Especially since um, my style changes so often, follow my sales and if there's something you love, it's bound to be there eventually just cause I, I go through so many style phases just cause there's so many to choose from and I need to try them all out before I die. All right, this one is so cute. So it's another turtleneck and it's a size small. I would say it's more of a size medium because when I tried this on, it was like a little bit ill-fitting. These gorgeous colors, I love them. They're pink and magenta and red. 
red and burgundy and cream and tan. Amazing horizontal stripes, super thick material. I'm gonna go sell it on my Depop. Oh, it's so good, it's so vibrant, and like it reminds me of like Cherry Starburst. <laughs> so good, so delicious. Okay, my, the chair is overfilling with thrifted items. It's another turtleneck, and it has purple, brown, tan, black, and cream horizontal stripes all throughout it. It is so vibrant and gorgeous. Obviously, I love this kind of uh, <laughs> top here. You can, I, can you tell? I might keep it, I might sell it. This next one is by the brand White Stag. It could fit pretty much small, medium, or large, just depending on the fit that you want. I think on me, it's like almost a dress, so I kinda really like it, but it's again this towel knit texture. It has three color blocked stripes of cream, tan, and chocolate brown, and it is so good. I love it. It is so cute and comfortable. And again, like sweater dresses are just such an easy outfit. I love it. Just tights or leggings and you're good to go. I might be selling this one. Not entirely sure, so check out my Depop if you love it. This one, again, the color is so good. And again, horizontal stripes. Are you surprised? You yeah, shouldn't be. It is a size medium. Look at these. Again, like 80s colors. <laughs> love them. Purple, lavender, turquoise, spring green, cream, and millennial pink. Great color choices, so many of them. Very rainbow, very cute. I'll probably keep it, but if not, you know where to go. This one is super cute, super simple. It is a red and black mock net knit top. I love the color combination of red and black. It's super adorable. And this one is a size small. It, it's really cute and very like classic. This one, again, is by the brand White Stag and it's a size medium. Horizontal stripes, are you surprised? Don't be. There's this forest green, olive green, navy blue, and white horizontal stripe pattern. It's very similar to the one that I have on right now. It's so cute. I love it. I'll probably keep this one. I, I saw it. I was like, gotta pick it up. Gotta pick it up. I think I snatched every single striped sweater that that Value Village had at that time. This one is another sweater dress. They tagged it a size medium, but I'm a size small and it fits snug as heck. This one's a chocolate brown copper and then another copper. This is like a tan and then we got the chocolate brown again at the bottom. Color blocked horizontal giant stripes. It looks amazing on me, so I'm probably gonna keep it. There are shoulder pads in this. Alfred Dunner, it's a size medium. Super kitschy, amazing, oversized sweater. This just screams like, Hipster. It's got this awesome built-in collar. Super cute, oversized, could even be worn like as a dress. Love it so much. I'm gonna be selling it though. So if you want it, check it out on my Depop. Reminds me of like a crazy cat lady or something. Or like, you know, your grandpa sweaters. Like you gotta get your staple grandpa sweaters. This is my beloved Tommy Hilfiger mustard and navy blue striped sweater. I love this. I've been wearing this a lot. It is like a little bit too big for me. I still don't know if I'm gonna keep it. If you saw my thrift with me vlog, I got this then and I was talking about, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I still don't know. I think we have finally reached the end of my ginormous thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you made it through this long, comment, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I know you've probably heard of this enough, but if you liked anything in this haul, chances are they're gonna be on my Depop, so definitely go check that out. Also, if you wanna go follow me on my other social media, I have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat, Depop, and I actually have a Patreon now, so definitely go check out those links in the description if you want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that you keep smiling, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. I'm still looking to find a ukulele at the thrift store. I want a ukulele, I really do.